This new technology requires a learning process, so please become familiarized with the LeadJack system prior to use on patients. The Sharps container should be readily available to all treatment areas and within arm reach. Discard the used needle after injections are completed. If more injections are needed later, then use a new needle. Insertion of an anesthetic cartridge. While the plunger is pulled, insert a cartridge. Insertion of the Leject needle. Twist off the seal and remove the short cap. While the plunger is pulled and the syringe is pointed upward, insert the needle into the syringe. Manual aspiration. Gently tap the thumb ring so that the harpoon would engage the rubber plunger of the cartridge. Remove the long protective cap just prior to injection. Removal of the empty cartridge. To remove the empty cartridge, disengage the harpoon from the cartridge. Push out the cartridge through the small window underneath with your opposing index finger. Pick up the empty cartridge. While removing the cartridge, the syringe should be kept flat. If the syringe is rotated, then the needle would fall out. Insertion of second cartridge. While pointing the syringe upward and pulling on the plunger, place another cartridge. Self-aspiration. Aspiration should be done manually. The self-aspiration is a safety backup system. After a brief injection of a few drops of local anesthetic, stop pushing and pull back the thumb ring. Inspect the cartridge for the presence of blood. Warning, self-aspiration should not be used with local anesthetics containing epinephrine or other vasoconstrictors or used on children under the age of 12 and weighing less than 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. Needle stability in the loaded syringe. The needle by itself is not stable in the syringe. A cartridge must be added for the stability of the needle. During injection, force of the injection further stabilizes the needle. Disposal of the used needle, self-release. After completion of injection, do not recap the needles. Remove the cartridge first. Position the syringe above a sharps container and rotate the syringe 180 degrees so that the needle falls off into the sharps container directly. If the needle falls off inadvertently and not into the sharps container, do not pick up the drop needles with hands. Use college pliers or hemostat to pick up and discard the needle into the sharps container. Thank you for watching our training video. For further information, please visit our website at www.lejec.com.